Joining us now through the miracle of satellite technology and a can and some string is my friend <laughs> Kent Jones uh, with a story that could only be told on the last day of April. Hi, Kent. Hi, Rachel. Today is the last day of National Poetry Month. So in that spirit, the great Bill Murray recently dropped by the construction site of Poets House, a poetry library based in lower Manhattan, to edify the hard hats during their break. Here now, Bill Murray reading I Dwell in Possibility by Emily Dickinson. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. What's this gal's name again? Oh, yeah, Emily Dickinson. <clears throat> I dwell in possibility, a fairer house than prose, more numerous of windows, superior for doors of chambers as the cedars impregnable of eye and for an everlasting roof the gambrels of the sky of visitors the fairest for occupation this the spreading wide my narrow hands to gather paradise. And I can't tell you how seriously happy that makes you. That makes me thank you very much. Oh, anytime. <laughs> happy now for National Poetry Month. <laughs> that does it for us tonight. We'll see you again Monday night from New York. Have a great weekend. Thanks for being with us.